So now we've rigged our skeleton in such a way that when we uh, move either the hip or the IK handle on the heel, the uh, the position of the bone uh, in between stay in uh, relatively equal distance. However, we run into problems where uh, the bones after um, the IK handles or the be beginning joint are still handled by um, a straight forward kinematics um, relation. Uh, here we would like the toes and the head uh, perhaps to move in such a way that it stays um, in a specific orientation uh, in that the toes should stay oriented uh, with the ground and the head should stay oriented with a certain direction. So in order to um, facilitate uh, keeping the toes uh, on the ground without having to move the individual skeleton uh, bones within uh, the model, uh, I'm going to introduce um, a orient constraint. I'm going to create a circle you can use whatever uh, shape you wish. I'm just going to move it and resize it a little bit. I'm going to go in and change the pivot point by pressing uh, hol and holding down D and V and moving that point onto the heel. If I move the circle now, it will rotate around the pivot point, the new pivot point and uh, make sure that you always uh, freeze transformations uh, and you want to select the circle which you made and you want to select the uh, joint which uh, in this case is the heel which will uh, be used to control the orientation. Uh, go into the constraint uh, orient and the little uh, rectangle on the side. Make sure maintain offset is checked and constraint axis is uh, on all. And now when you move the IK handle the toes stay in orientation with the uh, circle. If I move the hip it also uh, the toes always keep in uh, the ground plane, which is good. I'm going to make another circle for the head since the head is still uh, out of orientation when I move the toe or even the hip. So now I'm going to create another circle, move it up to the uh, head point, size it up a bit, modify freeze transformations, select the circle first and then the joint, constrain and orient. Now if I move my knee up, the head stays in the same orientation as the circle. Now you may notice there are still a few uh, problems in that if I move the IK handle up, the circle doesn't move with it. Uh, also on the head you see that there is some shifting of the bones up. Uh, in the next um, constraint I'm going to talk about, this will fix both issues.